couldn't give any information after that because now everybody else on board is asking these two to talk about their experiences <laughs> on board the alleged UFO. So he's telling me this, and I said, well, naturally, you joined in, right? But I've never been on a UFO. And I said, how would they know? Yeah. <laughs> you could have a lot of fun in a conversation like that. All these holes started out as pockets of air in the sand of the ocean shore. That's why it was the rock was making hollow sounds when the other guy was tapping on it. So there are hollow areas in the rock. And when the edge of one of those becomes exposed erosionally, on days like this, that wind is moving along the face of the cliff and it's spinning and tightly vortexing currents. These currents can be strong enough to just pluck sand grains out of more weakly bonded sections of the rock and spin the loose grains around in there like miniature drill bits for a while. So this is called Chicken Point because up till 96 we used to drive the jeeps around Alter Rock out there. So it was a case of are you going to do it or are you Chicken Point? No. <laughs> but that's something else we don't do anymore due to the deaths, of, excuse me, due to the erosion 